I'm about to do the final walkthrough, but first, I'm gonna show you guys this. I just have the door open just, just enough to where you can see through there. We still have baby sparrows that built a nest up in the corner up here. We've already talked to the buyers. They said, cool, sparrows can stay. They're pretty close to getting out of the nest anyway, but I didn't want to spook them, so I have it just open just a crack. And I'll try to zoom in there so you can see the, the babies, but um, babies are gonna be good, and they'll probably be out of the nest in about a week or so and be out of here too. So uh, they've been coming here every year. Oh, really cool. Yeah, they are. Hey, little guys. It looks like there's five of them in there. That little nest is good. <laughs> Too small for them. <laughs> but they're awesome. I think he's spreading his wings out. They're ready to fly out there pretty soon. That's a wrap. Done. The well, hunter said that's a wrap in the middle of the video, but that's a wrap. <laughs> the house is clean everything that we we're taking out of the house is out of the house we wanted to do uh, we wanted to take you guys along with us for our final walkthrough of our house we have all the lights on right now we'll turn them off as we go and then we will bid farewell to the house we've lived in for seven years as long as we've ever lived anywhere ever, ever. so this kind of give you guys an idea too of um, what we're leaving behind for the buyers I know some of you are going to see this and go, holy crap, they're leaving all that? <laughs> yes, we're leaving all that. So, here we go. Final walk here. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty She's still cleaning. Sorry. As we're walking out and doing the final walkthrough, she's still cleaning. Let's see if Scout's ready to go. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You hiding? You don't have to think about it, huh? Hey, hey, <laughs> are you ready to go? We're gonna go home to the new home. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair Let me take you outside and show you our uh, current setup. We're parked out here on, on our friend's land. This is where the RV's been parked since we bought the RV um, back last September. And we've been going on little trips, but we've just always brought it back here. And um, so it's not, a, it's not a bad little setup and we really appreciate them letting us stay uh, out here or else it would have had to been in storage and we wouldn't have been able to hook up to, to water and power. We have, um, we are hooked up to, uh, to power and water out here. But we'll only be out here for uh, two nights. It's Sunday now, so we'll spend the night out here, which is Sunday night. And then uh, we'll spend the night out here Monday night. 
tomorrow night and then Tuesday we're gonna move the RV over to uh, to the RV park over there closer to to Lawrence school and that's where we'll be for a few months um, other than a short trip up to Ohio for a family reunion we'll be over there at that campground for about three months before we hit the road full-time September 3rd but we're excited to be out of the house we're excited to be in the RV and uh, let's go get this stuff put away and uh, and chill for the night well we almost made it through unscathed yes we were really close we were like this close. that close well today's Monday the 20th mm -hmm. of May and we were supposed to close on the house today yes we did not close on the house today no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slight snag yeah slight snag um, these things could be worse happen yeah it could be worse I mean it's not like not the end of the world yeah we're gonna close tomorrow what happened was when they came out to do the termite inspection for our house they did not inspect the shed I didn't even know inspecting the shed was a thing. Mm. Well, for this lender it is. It, it may is. not be all lenders. The buyer's lender mm -hmm. wanted the shed included. It was on the appraisal. The shed was part of the appraisal, so they wanted it In, inspected for yeah. termites. Well, the termite guy must have never heard of this either because he came out, he did the, he inspected the house, mm -hmm. sent the report. It was not an issue until like a last minute. Yeah. It was an like, issue, and we thought we were gonna, we thought we were gonna get it all done in time. Yeah. We didn't think it was even still gonna be an issue, but we're closing tomorrow yes. at uh, three. Mm -hmm. If we knew that, like when we started the whole process to now, if we knew that this would be the biggest snag, we'd have been like, sweet, sweet. Mm. that's it, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> let's go to Auburn. Okay. For us, it'll be like several hours. For you, <laughs> only a few seconds. Here you go. Well, we promised we would share with you the bad times with the good. It's been a terrible, terrible morning. We had a terrible morning. We uh, apparently we were parked out at our buddy's house. The uh, where we were parked is like on a little bit of a slope. So the RV is level because of the leveling system, but then you go to back up the truck, the truck is on the slope, so it's hard to get it hooked up. And um, I didn't record any of that because if I would have brought the camera out, I would probably have to go to the hospital and have it surgically removed from my ass because it was hot, there's bugs buzzing around everywhere, horse flies biting yeah. and we were having trouble hooking up mm -hmm. you know like 30 40 minutes longer than what we were planning to yeah. leave and then we left and then we get here and then it wasn't a bad drive yeah. but when we got here like it was, it was just bad we make look we make like a pull through site look like rocket science yeah. We just ain't got it figured out. We ain't got the RV figured out yet on the angles on how to pull in to get it straight. And the problem is we have the super glide glider hitch. So you have to hook up to the truck and unhook from the truck completely straight and lined up. Or else it'll dork your thing up. So we'd have the RV straight, but then the truck would be at an angle. And then we'd try to straighten the truck and then the RV would be at an angle. And then we I whipped around the whole thing, knocked the snap pad off, freaking got back in here, got in the straight, and then we go to open the slides and where the clock is mounted, it normally is not a problem. It usually clears it by just a little bit, but didn't clear it. And apparently the clock was on there really good with the command strips, so it ripped a whole piece of the trim off the wall as the slide is sliding out. So like day one on the road full time or in the RV full time day one at our new place that we're going to be for a couple months and we've already had just a ton of issues and now we're racing the clock and we're all sweaty so we probably got to get like changed freshened up more deodorant because we got to drive 45 minutes back over to Columbus so we can close on the house 
And then we're closing the house and drive all the way back here. We found getting this all done early in the morning and it just didn't work out, man. But it doesn't always all work out. It's not always gonna work out. So we wanna make sure we share the crap times as well as the good times. This is one of the crap times, but it could have been a lot worse. It's not terrible. We got the nail gun, we'll nail the trim back on <laughs> and uh, we're straight. And the good news is we, we get to sit here until July. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go closing the house. Now we only get one life, I want to make it count, honey, come on now and take my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand We moved into the RV last Sunday Yeah And it's Sunday again a lot happened in a week. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the delay in closing. Yep. Fun times. So that pushed us back a day, which made us have to drive back and forth from Auburn to Columbus several times. Yeah. Family came into town. Yeah, Lauren's graduation was this week, Thursday. So family came in. Um, Sister-in-law and nieces. Came in to watch Lauren's graduation. Lauren's graduation went really well. Yeah. But it was it super was hot. hot. It was <laughs> oh outside in the stadium. Lauren A. Wagner. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it was super hot. It's still super hot here. Yeah. I don't know where you guys are at in the country, but here in Alabama, it's 90s. High 90s, high 90s every day and uh, so this is hot so just being outside it's, it's later in the day now and we have the umbrella yeah. so it's more <laughs> tolerable I mean so we brought Scott out to play a little bit we're just exhausted mm -hmm. and then I mean there's non-stop all week and you know the family came in the graduation and then they just left this morning Lauren left um, this morning this well. morning for, for should we gone for how long a month now. Yeah, she was only gonna be gone for a week. She can be <laughs> gone for a month, so we're kind of just out here by ourselves. Um, but that's cool. She went to go do a um, to be like a camp aide at a at a well, it's not Boy Scouts anymore. It's Scouts. Scouts camp. Um, she's, she's helping with. Um, she's gonna. She's teaching teach crafts. Badges. Yeah, craft <laughs> badges and stuff like that. So she'll make a little money this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's cool. So she went. It's probably about. 45 minutes from here where she's at um, so in the meantime we're gonna hang out here at our cool little spot mm -hmm. um, it's not bad we got a little little flower garden there yeah. and um, there's no shade because it, well, the tree was, was they, they cut yeah. it down I guess they had issues with people running into it or maybe it was dying I don't know but anyway it's cut down but um, Scout likes to climb the stump <laughs> so that's cool <laughs> and um, we tried out the, the washer and dryer for the first time? Yeah. Yeah, how'd that go? Very well. Yeah. And, and it does what everyone said it would. It would take a long time to run cycles. But we have the dual, we have the dual, the double, we have the, the stackables. stackables. So yeah. we have a separate washer from dryer. And so we've heard that the ones that are in one take even longer. Yeah, so I can't even imagine what that's like. So we didn't want to do that. But we tried the washer and dryer for the first time. When I say we, I mean Leslie. Yes. <laughs> I didn't try. Um, it was like an earthquake in there. We didn't get the spin it cycle. Was. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> and Scout's on his little um, perch by the window and he's shaking. Bracing for the earthquake. <laughs> when the thing is shaking. So that was. But we did order stabilizers. We did. So I Tuesday. think that will help. It yeah. won't eliminate the shake. Completely. And as long as we, if we like them and they work well, we'll do a video. We'll share with you on which stabilizers that we got. And um, if it reduces the shake, 
and hopefully we ought to help some other people. I mean, it's just the walking back and forth through the RV shake it does is what shake. bugs me. Yeah. I hate sitting it's on the couch bad. and rocking. It's not bad, but it, it is noticeable. So hopefully the stabilizers will... Especially because um, you and Lauren are heavy walkers, yeah. so I feel it more than the person walking. Maybe I should use my stick when walking through the RV. Will that help? Probably not. My walking stick? No. <laughs> if you guys didn't see the video in Helen, Georgia, uh, go back and watch. Yeah. You gotta get on Team Stick. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag yes. Team Stick. <laughs> and stick this week... Matter. We got ants. Oh, yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> we got. I did not enjoy that. Ants. I was like, man, this is like the, oh, the covers tickling me. That hair. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is going on? I, I was kept slapping scratching myself. myself and itching myself. We got ants. ants. Not cool. Yeah. First experience with ants. Um, so Leslie was like vacuuming them up. And there's, spring. there's a Dollar General store right across the street from the, yeah. from the campground. So I walked over there and we got some stuff. Um, got the, the raid spray, the lavender scented <laughs> raid spray. Still, it smells, still like smells like raid. raid. <laughs> but it's a little more tolerable. Yeah, it's not it as kill you. <laughs> so we did, I sprayed around all the jacks, the tires, the hoses, anything that touches the ground, they climb up from the ground to the RV. I sprayed around that. And then we put the little hot shot, the little bait traps, traps, the bait traps yeah. around all those points of contact outside. And then we put some on the inside. And Yeah, where they were coming um, in from. That was yesterday morning. And it's been uh, almost two days now. And we haven't had any ants. So mm -hmm. whatever we're doing is working. We'll take the traps with us when we, wherever <laughs> we go. And we'll just keep um, treating. So um, our first experience with ants. So if you guys know of great ways to keep ants away. Please. If you have any ideas? Please share. We don't like sharing our bed with ants. <laughs> well, I I have big issues with bugs, period. They are not to be They weren't the bitey ones though. No, so they're the good. little they just annoying black on ones. It wasn't like it wasn't but like ah oh my god. Bugs fire ants. Bugs don't yeah. no, they're not allowed in my house. Not allowed. Yeah, and it was crazy because like we were dealing with the ant infestation and scout was flipping out wanted in his cage, out wanted out. So bad. Because he, he'll get up in the morning and then he'll hang out in his cage for a little bit. Warm up. Warm up. <laughs> he'll stretch his beard and yawn. It's his way of having out. morning coffee. But then, like, it's like a uh, switch yeah. flips and he's banging against the. And he wants out. And so once he gets out, he's, just, he's out pretty much. He runs most of the all day, of so. um, But we couldn't let him out. Because there was ants everywhere. We didn't want to eat the ants or we didn't want the ants to get on him. And, you know, so, I don't know. We just had to clean up. So he was pissed. <laughs> and he holds a grudge. He does hold a Except from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, but yeah, week one. In the books. Mm. We're all done. But now we get to chill. We do. It's, we get to chill It's now. good. We'll get, to, we'll get to chill. Um, there's a couple other things I wanted to mention that, um, we took one of our videos down off of the, uh, off the channel. And the reason was it was the video that covered the, um, the unlimited, uh, jet pack jet pack. from Verizon. Uh, the prepaid plan, which was $65 a month. And it was truly unlimited without mm -hmm. throttling. Mm -hmm. Uh, they discontinued that plan. Big shocker. On May 21st. So as soon as they did that, uh, I took that video down because I don't want people thinking that that still exists. And they can go get one. Because you just can't. And that was one of my frustrations when we were when we were looking and we were making the video. I was like, dude, watching all these videos and it's a bunch of stuff that doesn't exist mm. anymore and people are grandfathered into it. Mm. And I just spent 10 minutes watching this thing <laughs> and I can't get it. So as soon as they discontinued that, I took that off our channel because I don't want people to waste their time watching something that they can't have anymore. You can get so, the jetpack, but you just can't get yeah. unlimited no throttle. What are we doing week two? I don't know. Might go hang out at the pool, our kids' pool. Yeah. We yeah. <laughs> I'm on the lease. And so I can go to the pool mm -hmm. at the apartment complex. And I can bring a guest. <laughs> Lucky you. Oh, lucky me. Yeah. 
I might let you go. You might. You might. It's very mm. generous of you. But it does say tenants must supervise their guests. Mm. So I'll have to supervise you. You can't supervise yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, another thing we'll do is probably um, take you guys around Auburn, Alabama, yeah. and let you see some of that. Man, the campus is cool. Phenomenal we'll, um, campus. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it right now because we're going to show you all the cool stuff. We were even joking. We were like, uh, we should pretend like Lauren's interested in going to Auburn mm -hmm. and just like <laughs> take a tour. Sign up for a tour. <laughs> yeah, like, this is our daughter Lauren. Yeah. She's very interested in going to Auburn. She's not sure what she wants to major in, so you better show us everything. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. We're going to do what we always do on Sunday. Honor a fallen hero. So let's do that. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.